from the hot air balloon capital of the world, this is live coverage of the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta and the 66th Gordon Bennett Coupe Aeronautique. It's Balloon Fiesta Live, powered by ExxonMobil. And now, direct from the rooftop studio at Balloon Fiesta Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico, here are your hosts, Glenn Moyer and Art Lloyd Jr. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome as we continue with the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta powered by Exxon Mobil. It is night magic glow night. It is. Saturday night. Hard to night. believe we're on the next to last event of the 51st. We've been doing song intros. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's move right There's along. There's a reason we don't sing. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, so it's uh, it's Saturday night. There's there's the Fast Tracks plane. This was recorded actually about an hour, hour ago. ago. Five o'clock this evening. And we had a great uh, look from the helmet cam. We'll get that back. It gets actually better. The feed gets very good. Yeah, a little bit better. So kind of a little spiral coming down with Team Fast Tracks. Of course, they are sponsored by AIC Insurance. And then these two will uh, do a barber pull all the way down. And in just a few moments, we'll see Larry Compton unfail, un, un unveil, unveil, unveil. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long week. Unfurl the uh, U.S. flag, and then we'll also see the Balloon Fiesta flag unfurled as well. Yeah, from the legs of Team Fast Tracks. There's a view of the two of the skydivers from the helmet cam. There's the unfurling of, of the, the flag. Yep, the American flag, 5,000 square feet of freedom, and of course the AIBF flag. Which in itself is 2,000 square feet. I didn't know that. Something's up, is that your phone? Oh yeah, it probably is, sorry, because I had this volume up for the alarm while I was napping after the award ceremony. So I wouldn't, so, <laughs> sorry about that guys. That's so I would be here tonight. Look at that shot from the helmet cam, looking down on the flags, then looking all the way down onto the uh, neighboring land, the Fiesta field kind of underneath. There it is. Yep. Just in the bottom right hand corner. Cheryl Compton, who is the wife of one of the jumpers says, missing my husband, but love watching him and the team do their thing. So do we, Cheryl. He thanks. does a great job bringing in that big flag. Yeah, thanks for checking in with, again, with us again. Glad to know you're watching Balloon Fiesta Live. Yeah, I love this, uh, love this ha uh, helmet cam feed. Yeah. Because otherwise they kind of look like that. Yeah, that's looking <laughs> up at the two jumpers that literally do a barber pole kind of spiral all the way down. And they did a nice long barber pole in yeah. this jump. And uh, yes, Patrick, we do have a green flag for the night magic glow. We are good to go tonight. Green flag. Look at that. Yeah, look at that shot. That's just awesome. Getting a little separation between the two flags there. Look at that. Yeah. That's an impressive I shot. I was telling one of the jumpers that we took a similar shot like this from a couple of years ago, and it's part of the generic video for a view from above that runs on the front page of the Balloon Fiesta website, oh, good. so balloonfiesta.com. Well, it will also work for next year's theme of Embrace the Sky. It will. And since we're bringing in the American flag, let's go ahead and roll our national anthem. There's a great shot.
Team Fast Strikes Team Fast bringing Strikes. in. Yep, bringing in the flag with our national anthem. And there's Larry Compton. Let's loose the flag and in for a landing. A nice stand up landing, waving to the crowd. Yeah, that, that's that. I think that was the one with the um, Fiesta flag, kind yeah. of a dual landing there. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Look job. at the crowd. Yeah, look yeah. at the crowd there. And then, of course, still even the after they landed, poles. these two, like I said, they yeah. just hung up there forever. They did a long, did a nice pole long show sense. for us. Continuing the barber pole. And then we talked about, oh, look, this one just kind of cut in front of the other one. Uh, yeah, I said that as we were watching it live. Yeah. It was like, get out of my way. And smoke almost, almost all the way to the ground. The ground yeah. That's Matt Harvey. Usually Matt is the ground specialist yeah. if Sam Deeds is not here. But uh, they put Dimitri Data on uh, Dedek on the ground specialist for this jump. And Matt got to be in the sky, which he told me that's where he'd rather be. I'm sure that's true. And there yes. they are. Yep. Number six. And ladies and gentlemen, good evening, welcome. It is Night Magic Night at the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, powered by Exxon Mobil. We are Balloon Fiesta Live on the air and online with you tonight. I'm Glenn Moyer, joined as always by my partner, Art Lloyd Jr here to uh, carry you through tonight's Night Magic Glow. And then, Art, we have our traditional, what's become traditional now, we have our Skytrax nighttime jump. Our, with pyrotechnics. With pyrotechnics. Then we have the drone show, brand new drone show, bigger and better than last year. Yep. And then we have and the different always, from this morning and or different tomorrow from the morning. morning. That's yep. right. The evening show is different. And then we have the always traditional afterglow fireworks. So, and the weather is uh, ho-hum. Just perfect again. Yeah. <laughs> don't we and get tired of this? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, we don't. Hey, it we was had a, a perfect special shapes Glodio last night. Yeah. And the weather looks just, just as, good, as good, if not better. For tonight's night magic glow. Yep. We had an incredible day here at Balloon Fiesta. Started with a great flight this morning. Then uh, I don't know how many people were out here for the uh, annular eclipse. Uh, while you and I were in doing the award ceremony, giving mm -hmm. away a lot of money to yep, our championship we pilots. We'll run down those results in a few minutes, I think. But I've got to share the, the comment that I showed you. I, <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope I don't get in trouble over this. But we were talking this morning. We, we were mentioning how NASA was here, NOAA was here, the Weather Channel was here. They were all here because all of the kind, eclipse. Yeah, all kinds of the big national, yeah, the international big media services. Guys, yeah, the they were superstars of whatever they are. Well, one of those who was here was Jim Cantori. From the Weather Channel. From the Weather Channel. Now, and where do you normally see Jim? Where there is a disaster. Exactly. If you know anything about the Weather Channel, you know that Jim Cantori shows up where it, the weather is expected to be the worst it can possibly be. If there's a hurricane coming, he's going to be he's where it be makes there. landfall. He's going to be right there. So when there is a hurricane approaching the coast, most people are going, oh, please, God, don't send Jim don't Cantori send Jim. to our town. So we had Jim Cantori here. We invited him up on the tower, but he didn't come up and visit with us. But he was here. He's been here for a couple of days. May still be here. Jim, we jest because we love you, my friend. But one of our, one of our people in our Facebook group, right in the early comments, said, as you know, we were going to do a 70 or so odd balloon, yeah, balloon glow during the eclipse. The eclipse. Yep. Well, the winds came up late in the morning at the end of our flight window and continued to blow through the eclipse hour. So we weren't able to stand the envelopes up, so they ended up doing a candlestick glow. A solid all, yeah. Just one big, long 30-second candlestick show. And so one of the early comments in the Facebook group tonight on Balloon Fiesta Live says, so Jim Cantori only destroyed the eclipse glow. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Jim. We, we just we, yeah, because no, we love we're, you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're we're yeah. just having some fun at his expense. But I, I know that was a great Just comment. like everybody who says don't send him here, right? Yeah, yeah don't so. send him here. Well, we didn't have a choice. He was here. 
We would have loved to have had him anyway. We'd love to have had him here on the rooftop to talk, uh, yeah. chat with us. I think, I think the Weather Channel ought to be here every year. I think all I the agree. big media outlets ought to be here. Indeed. Or, or if they're not going to be there, then they ought to just put our Balloon Fiesta Live on their network. Yeah, they could. Uh, Good Morning America could just pick up our feed and run it right there on ABC instead of coming out here. There is video on the screens of the uh, eclipse right almost at peak. The, the circle is still slightly off center as right. the moon covered, but that's the ring of fire you heard us talk about. And here was the glow, and you can see that it was it was darker. I think a lot of people were expecting what we see in a total eclipse when it Where goes it gets totally completely dark. dark and then the light comes back out. That was not the case with our annular eclipse. It was noticeably darker. It was noticeably it, yeah. darker, yes. Yeah, but and of course, like you said, we were busy setting up things and it was kind of like all of a sudden, it's getting darker yeah, outside. Yeah, well, and then all of our staff and the catering staff. Everybody all, had to stop Everybody we who doing. had to stop setting up for the award show. We all went out the back door to take a look at the eclipse and take some pictures. So it was a fun through moment. Our through our special viewing Through glasses. our special glasses, indeed. Yep, we did. So it was a fun moment today. And, uh, yeah, so Jim, Cor uh, Jim Cantori just absolutely destroyed the eclipse balloon glow. So we're yeah. going to throw Jim under the truck and blame it all on him. <laughs> Seriously, Jim, glad that you and the Weather Channel oh, yeah. were here to broadcast that. That picture, by the way, of the annular eclipse and the glow, of course, courtesy of our Windfire Productions now, folks. Now, you've got some numbers on that because, you know, when we initially started this week and even as early as this morning, we were telling our audience we would not be doing the eclipse live on Balloon Fiesta Live right. because you and I had to be over setting up to host the awards brunch and there was a great consternation and then there was an emergency plan sort of put together and Studio 519 and our crack production team from Windfire Productions came through. Right. And Windfire Productions also runs Studio 519. Studio 519 is, is community, the access, community channel access channel on Comcast Channel here right. in Albuquerque. And so they they do that as well as this and they do a lot of other productions, et cetera, as well. And so we've been kind of tossing it back and forth about how we might do something anyway. And so we put together a final plan this morning. As you said, we talked about it a lot. And we decided to go ahead and leave their cameras and their production team in place. Even though we shut the Balloon Fiesta Live feed off, we kept them up and they went live on their, on their website. their website, right, at a separate feed. And we gave everybody that URL yep. in plenty of advance time this morning so that when we signed off Balloon Fiesta Live, our audience of several thousand around the world could then lock, could move Just switch right over to the F Studio 519 website URL and see the eclipse and a little bit of the well, glow. Yeah, the glow. <laughs> and they did exactly that. They did. They Absolutely. told me before we went on the air that that website usually gets so 20 hits or so a day. Um, you know, not not a lot. It's community access and that type of thing. Today they had nearly 4,000 hits. And I think that is a direct uh, tribute to our the Balloon viewing Fiesta, audience yeah, of Balloon, Balloon Fiesta, Fiesta Live. Live. Who all went you all to that went there second and, uh, site to see the eclipse. We were thank glad you for that. to. Yeah, thanks for going over there. They appreciate that. And we were happy to be able to accommodate all of you to be able to give you that shot of the annular eclipse earlier today, combined with the candlestick glow that we had to do right at its total <laughs> annularity. Keith Berry says Jim Cantori showed up in our little town once. Several people left town, and we had a tornado that afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how you know the guy's good, because he gets right where he needs to be yeah. and does a great job um, in keeping people informed and hopefully safe well, if they pay attention. Yeah. Too many people just don't pay attention to that They don't pay attention stuff. to the advice that yeah. he gives. And you and I both have a, a radio and a television reporting background in television news, and, and I can relate to that. I can remember uh, a time when Hurricane Allen was coming in on the Texas coast, and I was dispatched from our radio station, uh, WOAI in San Antonio and Ken's TV, to go down to cover it, it was coming in at Corpus Christi. And that afternoon, driving to Corpus Christi, the side of the freeway I was on, there was not a car to be seen for miles. The other side was you know, bumper to bumper traffic for as far as you could see. And Jim Cantori is one of those types. He goes as just like first responders and just like most media, yep. he yep. goes to where the story is. So if you're a weatherman, you want to go to where the worst possible weather is because that's the story, exactly. not where it's nice and beautiful. You want to go where there is all sorts of potential for disaster. And so uh, Jim has made that his specialty through his career, 
at the Weather Channel and obviously is known nationally, if not internationally, for that. So it was a yep. thrill to know that he was here. And he does it well. He does. He does indeed. He knows how to do his job and he does it well. So again, we are uh, just working our way towards sunset tonight. Many of our balloons are standing up. Uh, another big batch of them are cold inflating. And so we should have uh, 150 balloons or more setting up for our night magic glow tonight. Yeah. We mentioned Comcast, of course, community access. Comcast also known as Xfinity. Xfinity, that's right. So there's our Xfinity reward special shaped balloon. Sean Askren at the controls of the burner tonight, as he has been all week. I have been an Xfinity, or Comcast slash now Xfinity uh, customer in Louisiana, where I call home for quite a few years. I've been at my, my current residence for uh, 2004, 24, so like 19 years, almost 20 years, and I've been a, a Comcast slash Xfinity subscriber all of those years. They provide the internet that I rely on uh, to produce ballooning uh, journal magazine and uh, do a lot of other work as well. And I couldn't do it without Xfinity providing the internet service they do. So good to see them and their balloon and Sean Askren. Sean's a longtime friend of mine. He, uh, gosh, years ago when, when cigarettes were not the bane of the world, uh, Sean was flying for Winston cigarettes at one time. Back when I think the Winston Cup, Winston sponsored you know, NASCAR racing through the Winston he's Cup. He's flown a number, number of uh, sponsored yeah, balloons. He's one of those veteran commercial pilots yep. who has done a lot of uh, corporate balloon work and continues to do so. So, yep, with the Xfinity balloon. Speaking of corporate balloons, did you mention uh, our Exxon Mobil balloon right here in front I of us? I haven't mentioned any of them yet. Oh, well. I we, brought up Xfinity and then we got to, got, that, you should do the others. We should do the others because right in front of the Rooftop Studio, if you're wondering where we are located, uh, if you haven't found us yet this week, uh, we are directly in front of the Exxon Mobil, or directly south of the Exxon Mobil balloon. And just beside it is the gorgeous Dos Equis balloon of Scotty Appleman. The red, white, green, and gold. Cerveza Dos Equis since 1897. And next to the Dos Equis balloon is the Exxon Mobil balloon. I said that. Did you say that? That's where I was. I went, yeah. I went the other way. You I went started the other at Exxon Mobil and went over to yeah. Dos Equis. You went Dos Equis and came back. Okay. So you, I go so left, you go it, right. There we go. I see the AIC balloon out there, the red, white, and blue balloon. They, of course, the yeah. sponsor of Team Fast Team Track. Fast Tracks, yes, indeed. Solaire is over there as well. Yep, that would be Sean Rea in Solaire. Sean did very well in the competition this week, as I recall. And uh, before some of the balloons on this end stood up, I saw the red or green. I can just see a, the, a bit of the green side looking around Air Rocky Top. You yep. can see it behind there. Hey, that is the Visit Albuquerque balloon, and of course, with right. the state question, the city has picked one up on it. One side is red, one side is green. That it is. And yeah. yeah. Hey, while we're uh, getting the balloon still set up, it's a little early. We can't glow in the sunlight, so we have to wait a bit to start tonight's glow. Should we uh, do a rundown of the uh, competition results, maybe? I think that would be a good idea, especially since you mentioned um, Sean there. Yeah. Let's just kind of give you the whole thing. I okay. didn't get the graphics made here, but of course, you'll remember that we had on Monday the Sid Cutter Memorial Task, where the idea is to fly into the field from at least a mile away and get to a boat that is in the center of the field. In fact, I don't know if our um, crew can grab that video. That'd be a great to, yeah, time to replay that video. Yeah, we have that great piece of video. I was talking about Joe Hartzell's amazing uh, flight. So the idea is to drop, fly in and drop your marker. And this year it was called, uh, you were supposed to drop the orange marker on the boat. And the best score is on the bow of the boat. Yep. Uh, of course, in the boat works as well. If you fall outside the boat, it's like falling, falling into the into water. water. Yeah. And basically... Well, we would say no score because the marker is lost, but we, we grant a, a 300 feet plus. Right, this year we, we felt like we wanted as many people to have the opportunity to score for the overalls. So it's not just how you score on that task, it's how you score throughout the week in competition. So better to get even a distant score, a lower score on the Sid Cutter task than to end up with no results. Exactly, exactly. So we had in what we believe to be a record number 
of Indeed. markers on the boat, in the boat, et cetera. I think it was 11. 11 total on the boat. But I counted like 25 right there around the boat. Some obviously, as we said, were in the we're water. In the water, yes. So it turned out to be in third place, winning $500 was Lucas Hartzell. In second place, winning $1,000 was Josh Bacon. And winning first place in the competition, Joe Hartzell, $1,500, and a very nice commemorative plate. We actually make this plate with a... Uh, it's a picture of his balloon. His balloon the over the balloon boat. On the plate, over the boat. And that plate uh, is custom made each year once we know who the winner is. And it only arrived back in Albuquerque from the artist at 4 a.m. this morning. At least it made it. I, I wonder if UPS knocked on Jewel's door at 4 o'clock and said, hello. Yeah, yeah, how did we know it was here at 4? <laughs> well, Jewel, told, Jewel came up and told me it arrived at 4 no, o'clock. No, yeah, but yeah, it did, so did somebody but I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it was how delivered did she to. Get it? Yeah, I don't know exactly. how she got it or how she knew that. I hope they didn't knock on the door and wake Jewel up. Although, she's out here every morning as well, she, so yeah, she probably she was, was up here, at 4 o'clock. She was out here that morning for the uh, Sid Cutter Memorial. Then we, so, had, then we had competition on Tuesday. Just kind of throwing on the maximum double drop, maximum distance double drop oh, task. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, nothing. We had our mass ascension on Wednesday. On Thursday, things, we did a static display. On we, Friday. Friday, though, we had another huge normally, competition. Normally, day. Thursdays and Friday, we would have a poll competition. You heard us talking about it earlier on Balloon Fiesta Live. It's a, a ring toss. Essentially, every pilot has a small, about a 12-inch, 18-inch, round uh, hula hoop, if for lack of a better term, and the object is to fly into the park and drop it on the pole. So now we had five poles. Normally there would be $1,000 there, and the deal is this year, because we didn't compete on Tuesday, uh, Thursday, we, we rolled still had Thursday's the money. prize money over, so each pole was now worth $2,000. And the way it works is the first pilot on the pole, if, if that's the only pilot, they win the $2,000. If there's more than one pilot who rings the same pole, then they split that money. We had four of the five poles with rings on them, but each one was an individual pilot. That's right, so each of those four pilots won, won the $2,000. The $2, and uh, the first pilot on the first pole got not only the money on the pole, which in this case proved to be 2,000 because it was the only ring on that pole, he also got one of those e-bikes, the electric bikes that we had here that you did a feature with earlier this week, and uh, so, uh, polls one, three, four, and five were taken. Patrick Cloyd uh, was on the first one, and he won the two thousand dollars and the e-bike. Yeah, not only poll number one, but he was the first one he there. He was right, first one on poll number one. I didn't, yeah. caught, I didn't catch that today during the award ceremony. And then on poll three, Steve Jones of Texas was the only pilot on that poll, so he took home two thousand dollars. On poll four. It was J.J. Mancini taking home $2,000 because he was on the pole all by himself. And then on pole five, Dr. Bill Bussey of Longview, Texas, also the single ring on that pole, so another $2,000. So we had four winners, one each on each of four poles, so each taking home a total of $2,000. It was quite an exciting competition. It was because they had to navigate and maneuver over and over, and a few of them made multiple passes to be able to get to the pole. Right, and if you remember, Dr. Bussey came in from behind us, uh, while he a lot of the competitors were coming from the from north the and west. In. Dr. Bussey came from the south very late, like in the last half hour or so yes. of the flight window, and was able to get in and get one of those poles. So congratulations to those four pilots for a job well done on our pole grab competition. And if you follow us on Facebook, our Balloon Fiesta on Facebook, we posted a couple of really great pictures of Dr. Yes. Bussey coming in just as he was to put the, putting the ring on the pole and then the other with basically the fist, bus, bu fist bumps up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In fact, I shared that, that photograph of uh, Bill with the ring. It's a great shot because it's from where it's at the angle. You can see his face is framed in the ring, in the ring just minutes, literally seconds before he's going to set the ring down on the pole. Now so. we mentioned all those other targets, the maximum distance double drop, and there's X's out there, and all those other types of things. Yes, all and that stuff. The, and the pilots were grouped into competition groups. 
So it really wasn't all 300 of them competing on each of those. You're usually competing like in your banner numbers, like banners 100 to 199, and, and not all 99 pilots are competing. So there might be, say, 40 or, or 35 or so of those banner numbers that are in the competition. And so you're competing against that group, not against all 300 odd pilots. Not for those individual tasks. Not for targets, the individual right. tasks. You are for the overall championship. So yes. with three days of competition, seven competition groups, paying five, five slots places. on each of those. We figured out that was 105 winners. Yes. I think that's now, right. I'm sure so there was, there's some duplicates in there, well, because you could, yes. win, you could win it multiple days. You could days win each day, like that. Yes. right. And you could win multiple ta tasks yes. on days when we had uh, dual but tasks. But that's how many places we were uh, paying, yes, out, paying out for. Paying out, that's right. And if you got fifth on any one of those tasks, you got 50 bucks. If you got fourth on any of those, it was $100. Third won $200, second won $300, and first won $400. Yeah. So being first in your group on any task got you $400. Bucks. And if you were a multiple task winner, you could have, or even just placed in the top five on multiple tasks, you could have taken home a pretty nice little That's it. Uh, chunk of pocket nice change. Nice little bit of fillers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then we did take all of those scores. Speaking and of put pocket them, change. Put all those <laughs> together. So that we did indeed have an overall as well, and there were prize, there is prize money, was prize money awarded for the top 20 places. Right. At, before we get there, look at that shot yeah, of the, the sun. sun. A little bit of dust there as the uh, ground, you know, this is a park, and right. it was green when we started. But it's a bit brown now because of all the traffic we've had out on the grass. Yep, yep, and no moisture. And yeah, that too, no moisture. And But, you know, knock on wood, we're not looking for moisture. Nope, not during Balloon Fiesta. We had plenty of that last year. That's it. Enough to last us many, 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 many years. Yeah, so you want to run down the top 10, or how many you want to do Oh, here? let's do all 20. All right, Let's okay. do all we 20. In 20th place, winning 250 bucks, it was Ian Whitling. 19th was Jerry Kopas, winning $300. 18th, 350, $350 for Jason Buckner. 17th, 400 bucks to Nico Benson. 16th place was John Schmidt winning $450. $500 for 15th went to Carlos Fuegos Leaf, or Leal, sorry. Yep, and in 14th place, Sean Rea, $600. $700 to 13th for Brian Hill. 12th place, J.J. Mancini picked up $800. So with his poll, he took home $2,800 this weekend. Well, there you go. And in uh, 11th place, $900 went to Bill Dobbs. 10th place, Ken Drawn, a guy we talked about a lot during competition. Yes, we did. Gets an even thousand. And Chris Liberti in ninth place took home $1,100. Zarek Wells placed eighth, takes home $1,200. Craig Pendleton, seventh for $1,300. Johnny Petron, another one we talked a lot about, yep. ended up in sixth place for $1,500. Daniel Liberti took home $2,000 for his fifth place finish. Tomas Hora, who also served as the event director for our Gordon Bennett race. I still don't know how he found time to compete and fly. Well, he'd talk over there, come over here and fly. Okay. $5,000 for his fourth place. Joe Hartzell, who won the SS Sid Cutter Memorial Task, was in third, taking home $6,000. That's a lot of money, plus he, you know he had to have won a number of those tasks I would as think well. so, and he won 1500 on the uh, Sid Cutter task, so at least uh, six, profitable at least trip 7500 yeah. probably took at, home yeah. eight grand, eight to nine grand, yeah. Yep, good for Joe Hartzell. Absolutely. Second yeah. place, another Joe, this is Joe Zavada, $7,500. And the champion for the 2023 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta was David Strassman, winning 10, 10. Thousand dollars. So Ching. big payday for a number of pilots yeah. here today at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Hey, while we're talking about money, earlier this week, money, money, money. Um, I was, I think it was Friday morning. I was uh, had the privilege of making a little donation to our longtime friend Steve Stucker, uh, known of course as uh, the guy with all the balloon pins, the the coat of mail that's made out of balloon pins, and uh, former weatherman over at KOB. Uh, who was out here with us. He has a, a charity called Beds for Kids. And um, I had a, a piggy bank that I got years ago. If you may remember the balloon Miss Penny uh, that came from Norwest Banks. We were figuring up, probably have had that, that bank for 25 to 30 years. Yeah, yeah. And, and I had been, because of the name Miss Penny, I've been putting pennies in it all that time. And uh, finally decided to do something significant or try to with the money in the bank. So we donated that bank to uh, Steve for the Beds for Kids. 
we don't have a total yet on how much money was in the bank. But they're I talked, still counting. Yeah, they're still counting the pennies. I, uh, I had a chance to talk with Steve, who was at the midday award ceremony. Because he was inducted in, in the Balloon Fiesta Hall right, of Fame. Right, he got the, uh, the category of the honorary member of the uh, Hall of Fame. And congratulations, well deserved on that. Uh, but so I had a chance to chat with him before we got started. And I said, you know, gee, I, I hope there tends to, there's at least a significant amount of money in the bank. I put a $100 bill in there, too, just to be right. sure. Uh, and Steve said to me, very honestly, he said, you know, it's not so much the amount of money, it's the publicity. And he said, because of that cut-in that we did, both on Balloon Fiesta Live and on Channel 4, he had gotten all kinds of additional donations, including one for $2,000. Wow. So really proud of that, that, that piggy bank was worth 2,000 bucks. And plus. Plus, plus, whatever money is in the bank, you know, and whatever additional donations came in, and he said there were several. So uh, was really pleased to know that that little um, uh, act on my part yes, will yeah. hopefully have some uh, good benefits here to Albuquerque and, and the kids here, and that's what I wanted to do was uh, some way to give a little bit back to the event that has given me so much in the 34 years that I've been here. So that so, was fun. Yeah, and back to the Hall of Fame, the yeah. Hall of Fame is always announced here at Balloon Fiesta at the awards banquet. Hi guys, we got you down there. <laughs> yeah, the new pilot sitting on the side of the basket there with her cowboy hat. Ah, yeah, look at okay. that. All right, yep, yeah, she's yep. Paying oh attention. yeah, I've been looking, I've seen the, I was looking out at the field. And nope, right here, on the, right, right here on the screen. screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So there are two potential categories each year for the Hall of Fame. You can be um, an honorary one where you don't necessarily have direct impact on Balloon Fiesta, more indirect. You don't really work it. You don't operations work it. Yeah, or anything you're not like here that. doing. Yes. You're, you have this indirect impact, it's, it's kind uh, of tremendous yeah, indirect. An, an ancillary yes. role, though. Kind yes. Of a, kind of an outsider looking in sort of thing. And so this year there were two people inducted into the Hall of Fame on that honorary side. That was Steve Stecker that we just talked about. Right. For all of his years of being out here and promoting Balloon Fiesta through KOB, et cetera. And the other one in the one that kind of works here, and I've forgotten what we call that category, would, was Nancy Words. And oh, Nancy yes. has right. been a launch direct out, out here. She has been an assistant chief launch director. And for the last, I've forgotten how many years, she has been the head of our landowner relations team. You know, it's really easy to take off from Balloon Fiesta Park here, but then you got to land the you balloon. you got to land the balloon, and you got to land usually on someone's private property. Exactly. And so working with a team to keep those relationships, relationships good, to help landowners understand why it's important we need to have the landing sites, yep. and to help them identify those landing sites by putting a green or a white sheet in the yard that the pilots can see from the air right. and they know that's a good spot to land. And if there is a landowner that has a, an issue because they have something and they just would rather not because they maybe they have really expensive horses that get spooked, something along those lines, yep. then we help them with yellow or red sheets to tell the pilots, fly on. This yeah, is not the rather, best place to land. Rather you go land somewhere else. Um, and so Nancy Wirtz and Steve Stucker entered into the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Congratulations to both to of them. Both. Absolutely. And the other big uh, honoree that the Balloon Fiesta issued today, actually it's not a secret because it was actually in the program and it was announced a couple of months ago or so, but he actually got the official plaque and so the official presentation was today. And that is the Heritage Award. Right. And that is awarded by the Heritage Committee to those folks who have a long time history. A long history of working with Fiesta through the years. And so Chuck Raskob was the recipient of this year's Heritage Award. Chuck has been a long time safety official, both hot air and gas. Yep. He's also working with our Globitos and our uh, those balloons this year, actually for the last few years, and has served for many, many, many years with uh, Balloon Fiesta. So he is our Heritage winner. And if you have a program, you can be able to read more yeah. about Chuck. Yeah, I've had the opportunity to get to know Chuck over the years and work with him right here, usually up, up, uh, hello, up on the rooftop studio. Yeah, many he, times he was up here. Many times he was up here for these evening glows. As part, as of, part of the part safety. Of the safety team, yeah. So Chuck would join us up here on, on the uh, rooftop. And so, yeah, I've gotten a chance to know Chuck well through the past year. So really thrilled for him to be honored in that regard. So, so it was an exciting day. Um, and we got to see the uh, annular eclipse, 
Uh, somebody, Susan Collins, says, Jim said nice things on the air about the Albuquerque and Balloon Fiesta. Well, I would hope that he would. And um, we were, yeah, I understand he was on the, he was in the park today. When we found out he was here, I did issue an invitation over the PA for him to join us on the tower, but um, he was obviously busy doing his media stuff. Um, we are working while we're here. This is an all putting games. And so I understand just sounds that he couldn't join us, but it would have been fun to have Jim on the rooftop studio to say hello on Balloon Fiesta Live. Uh, but safe travels to wherever he goes back to. I think they're based in Atlanta. If I, I think that's where the main uh, I base is. Correctly. Yeah. yeah. Or in and, Jim, uh, Jim's case, wherever the next severe weather is. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about if you're a, foot, a college football fan and you watch ESPN, you see college game day, and they always open their show with, with the act that does the song, we're coming to your city, oh. you know, <laughs> and, and I would think most people are saying, you know, I'm hoping Jim is it coming to our city, or city, as they say. In, you know, in uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, but uh, fun to have uh, Jim and the Weather Channel folks here. And, we're just having a little fun at their ex ex expense. And hey, I it's 6.35 okay. here in New Mexico and Albuquerque, and that is official sunset time. Okay. And the sun has dropped below the horizon. But, of course, there's always that twilight light, so we're going to just give our balloons a few more minutes to get stood up tonight, and then we're going to get underway with our night magic. There's a great shot of a balloon going Doing hot. inflating, right. Yeah, so the idea is we stretch the balloon out, we hook up an inflator fan or start the inflator fan and we blow cold air or ambient temperature air into the balloon. It gets cold packed full of that air so that everything is there's pressure on the sides to keep the fabric away. And then we turn the burners on and we do some little burns there and heat the balloon, heat the air inside the balloon that is. Hot air rises and cold air stays close to the ground so the hot air inside the balloon envelope rises. Speaking of rising in hot air, uh, there is tall Steve, not quite hot enough to stand up, but he'll be joining us momentarily. That's the tall Steve penguin balloon, part of the... Uh, but we are putting heat in it. They are putting heat in it. He's just the other now way you can to tell rise. is because of his beak. His beak is, is pointing up and, and moving. And uh, part of the uh, Sky Safari team here from, uh, from Longleat and Andrew Holly's exclusive ballooning group. Uh, Diana Candelaria Hamby says, I was one of those 4,000 watching the eclipse on Studio 519 from Hillsboro, Oregon. Great. We uh, appreciate that. Uh, Dan Stanley says, I liked Jim's gas welding goggles. I guess he was using those. Oh, that was you. <laughs> yeah. I guess he didn't get one of our commemorative pair of uh, Balloon Fiesta glasses. He must have been using uh, some goggles to see that. So while we have, well, there, by the way, there's the uh, happy birthday or the party balloon. The party balloon. I just see it right through the shot of the yep. other balloons standing up. But this is a uh, good time while we uh, get the rest of our balloons standing yeah, up as it gets dark. Let's, let's give away giveaway. some stuff. Next to last one already. I know. Yeah, so what we're talking about is these Balloon Fiesta Live replica license plates. Now, this was the actual pattern of license plates here in New Mexico for a number of years. Yep. In fact, I still have one on my vehicle. Do you, I always wanted to get one, but never did. Well, because I don't live in, a, in New Mexico. There's a lot of people who want these. There are. Yeah. We've even had offers to buy one. We have. I've, we I've, have. I'm secretly going to sell a couple on eBay when we're done. <laughs> I'm taking them back. I'm taking them back. <laughs> I'm gonna. You gave me one. I'm gonna put it on eBay for sale. No, anyway, no, I'm not. I'm only thanks, kidding. Thanks to our good friend Al Padilla over at the Sign Store. Yeah, he has worked with us to produce a number of these, and we're giving away three every single session right here on Balloon Fiesta Live. And so we've already had a number of winners, and we're gonna announce three more in just a few moments. But you can enter for the very next drawing because I've already one, pulled tonight. Yeah, and we got one, one more, more chance morning. for you to get in our giveaway drawing. There's the QR code on the screen. If you're near the video wall, there's the QR code. You want to scan it and get your name in contact information in the entry database. Yes. And if you can't find the QR, o Q QR, QR code, code. <laughs> can you tell we're on day number 13? Uh, yeah. And oh, how many hours yeah. now that we've done? I mean, yeah, just, I lost count. I didn't even get today's hours in there yet. Well, and we started, at, I mean, we were on stage, you know, by 5 a.m. for the start this morning, even though we didn't go to sit until 6 a.m. 
and then went straight over to the awards thing. So we were basically on from 6 a.m. till noon. And I made a quick run home and didn't even get the uh, the award show edited and up uploaded yet because it was like I was home for less than an hour and it was turn, time to turn around I, and come back. I managed to get to the hotel and get about an hour and a half nap. So I'm well, a little ahead of you. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling fairly, fairly good for a day. What is it? Uh, See, now it's affecting eight. you too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you didn't get to the QR code, didn't can't get there or not, you can just go to balloonfiesta.com, click on this year and go down to the Balloon Fiesta Live webpage, and a link to the entry form is there. Put that, put your name, contact information in there, and maybe you'll be lucky in our last drawing tomorrow. Three more tomorrow morning. But let's get those three that were drawn just a okay. few moments ago. And you're using, by the way, a random number dialer that calls out these names, so we it's not like we're putting a name in a hat or anything like that. It's no, when you put your number technology. in there, it's counting the entries, and so what I do is I say, okay, from number one to where we are, Give and pick a number. Three random numbers. Yeah, I take out the duplicates, and then we right. yeah, pick a number, make sure that we don't get somebody along those lines. So our winners tonight are from Irvine, California, Roxanne Fowler, from Santa Fe, New Mexico, Abby Shepard, and from Morgantown, West Virginia, Stephanie Blake. So Roxanne, Abby, and Stephanie, congratulations on indeed. winning. I said indeed. Indeed, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's not what I thought Sorry. I heard. <laughs> That's not what I thought I heard. Anyway, congratulations on winning a Balloon Fiesta Live replica license plate. I will be in touch with all three of you, as well as all the winners, right after Balloon Fiesta to make arrangements to get the license plate to you, whether it be in person or whether it be through the mail. One of the plates has already left town, uh, right. or will be if tomorrow. maybe tomorrow, because yeah. uh, they were attached to, they were a part of the uh, Monty, Monty, the Black Sheep crew, and so they are literally carrying that plate home to the winner, who's a part of their team. Yeah, it's that their, wasn't it, here. Yeah, it's one of their. It's their crew chief. Crew chief. Yeah, did not make the trip with them um, just because of the long drive. So he's been watching on Balloon Fiesta Live. Heard us put the contest out. Registered. Sent him stuff in. Got the lucky draw. And so, uh, yeah, we're sending yours. I should look back and get his name. It was uh, Harold. Harold Homier from. Yeah, uh, Harold Homier from. Yeah. Boise, Idaho. Yeah, so we're sending your license plate with Greg. Back home with Greg, with yeah. um, the um, with Monty, Monty the Black yeah. Sheep. Special so if shape. you don't yeah. get it, you got to talk to Greg. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll hey. confirm all that with uh, it with might Harold be next it week. might be on the chase truck before they even get home with it. You know, who knows? That's exactly <laughs> it. So. There's a good shot of uh, the Solaire balloon. That is Sean Rea over there. He is uh, inflated just over in front of the. Um, the media tower uh, directly adjacent to or just north of the Sid Cutter Pilot Pavilion. You can also see the backside, a little bit of Defy Gravity. That would be the Wicked balloon team from the Broadway show Wicked. And, uh, you know, it, I've seen some guys doing a little bit of burning and flicker burning out there. You think we're just about closing in on time to start this thing? Well, I was going to grab our assistant balloon meister, Peg Bilson, and make sure she's ready. Okay, all right. Why for don't us you to do move that? forward. You can go do some of that producing stuff that you do and do so well. I'm going to stick these readers back on so that I can make sure I'm seeing and reading everything uh, correctly here. Ah, Amy, uh, Amy Branther Wilson says, I love the Wicked Balloon. Very good. I, I got to see that show in Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. It's a great show to see if you're a Broadway play type of fan. And uh, let's see. Watching from Poolville, Texas. Um, I think I'd need an e-bike to get around out there. I guarantee you that you can do an awful lot of walking. If you've got, you know, if you've got an Apple Watch or any of those other smart watches that keeps track of your steps, the, your count's going to go way up while you're out here at Balloon Fiesta. A lot of people noting that we should make an announcement about no smoking on the field, and, and I guess that's true. But generally, that's pretty well well known um, amongst the crowd here. But yeah, Balloon Fiesta Field is a no smoking area. Um, and a no pet area. A no pet area as Not well. Not only because of Balloon Fiesta, but it's also a city park ordinance. That's and right. this is a city park. So. And no, uh, no, um, no, uh, hello, no weapons are allowed either. You I can don't. leave those off. Oh, yeah, put them up, point them that way, Gary. Point them away from us. 
Yeah. They're looking to turn on the uh, stage Just, lights. Yeah, here turn tonight. on the stage studio lights for us. Yeah. Point them the other way, but, or, le or yeah. leave them off. People aren't watching us tonight. They're watching the. Uh, yeah. The balloons. Well, well they're I, going to be. I did get the word. It is time for us to go ahead and get our glow right. underway. Let's, let's glow to you. So, pilots, good evening and welcome to Night Magic. We're going to start off tonight with an all burn. We're going to give you a countdown from five, and we're going to ask everyone to lend their voices and join with us as we count down from five. We're going to do an all burn to get us started. So, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, all burn. Hey, we should also note if uh, the crowd has already seen it, some folks on the screen have probably seen it, that the Los Globitos, the little mini-me RC balloons, are also joining our balloon glow tonight. They've been sponsored here all week by the city of Las Vegas, New Mexico. They have. And so glad to have them uh, joining into the crowd. And congratulations to all the Los Globitos pilots who uh, there you can see a bunch of, look at the difference in the size. Yeah, look at the size difference. Uh, of the real manned balloons versus the little radio control balloons. And, um, and they can go up and down on their little tether their little during tethers. this glow, where That's our right. full-size balloons will be staying stay on, on the, the ground. ground. But congratulations to them for uh, setting a new world record, uh, 58 of the Globitos inflated simultaneously earlier this week. There's a great There's a whole of row them. of them. Yep. And you notice how many of them match the a full size. Right, they are what we've called a mini me of the full size balloons. There's the the Fiat Spirit of Fiesta balloon. Hearts of Fire. Hearts of Fire. Hearts of Fire was a balloon that I took a picture of out here in in like 19, I think my first Fiesta possibly 84, and I sold it to a postcard company in in Plano, Texas. Got 50 bucks for it, and they're still selling that postcard. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, they've made that 50 all over oh, again. Oh, yeah, many times over. All righty, let's do another all burn, please. Another all burn. Get your cameras ready and count with us. Here we go. Five, Five four, three, two, two, one, all burn. That looks good, but it's going to get better when it gets yeah, darker. Yeah, we're just going to wait a few more minutes as the sun can, has already set, but twilight then will pass along into nighttime. Have we moved to dusk yet? Where is, where is dusk well, and know, twilight in the, in the grand scheme of things? I think maybe it's sunset, then dusk, then twilight, and then nighttime. Yeah. And I don't know. Then, of course, there's civil and nautical and all oh, those other oh, things yeah, as well. Yeah. Hey, there's the New Mexico True Balloon, Bill Lee and True Lee. Bill puts together a number of rallies, balloon rallies around the country. The most notable one, Red Rocks. Fly in the Red Rocks in the yes. first weekend of December. We're talking about the Red Rocks of Gallup, New Mexico. I've never flown in the official event, but you know, uh, on Monday, a couple of days from now, it's not unusual. In fact, it's become sort of a tradition. Yep. There will be a, a number of pilots who will leave here Monday morning and drive to Gallup, and then they will do a flight in the Red Rocks. I did that a few years ago. So it's kind of an unofficial balloon event. There's no official support or housing or propane or any yeah, of that sort of stuff. It's kind of a fiesta hangover it, it's rally. Just, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's just a great fun flight that a bunch of pilots go out and do in the Red Rocks, which is a great place to fly. I do get to fly out there in December every year. It's a great place to fly. When you're looking for balloon rallies to go to, that's one you should put on your list. Red yeah. Rocks in Gallup, New Mexico, first weekend in December. For me, it was always hard to, to justify being here at Albuquerque and then going home to either Texas or now Louisiana, and then a couple of weeks later turning around and coming all the way back out here. So I never did the official event, but I did do the Monday event one year. Let's do another all burn, please. Another all burn. Don't forget, everybody, count down with us, please. An all burn. Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, all burn. There's a great shot from our uh, crack. There's tall Steve standing in the middle of it. There's the Chick-fil-A balloon team. That'll be Craig Kennedy. On our screen, Air Rocky Top, Mark yeah. Yoakum. The, and the uh, Mike Voorhees with the black psychotic balloon. Yep, there is the Fleur de Vie balloon, the blue and white balloon. And on the right side, the stair step of orange, yellow, purple, light blue, et cetera. That's heirloom that I was telling you about this morning. Oh, okay, yeah. Suzanne Warren. Yeah. 
And uh, in and the foreground, all those little mini bees. Little mini bees, yeah, the little globitos. The red one with the cocapelli. The uh, kind of zigzag purple, pink, white, and black. I think that's almost a replica of the magic uh, May May magic that we saw come over the target. Oh, uh, uh, sponsored by Crystal Ciarza yeah, and Crystal's Ciarza. Balloon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the she one was, she sponsors. Yeah, she was kind enough to come up and say hello just prior to the award ceremony today. Yeah, Shane Shipman flies the full size yeah, one. Yeah, Shane was uh, got to meet Shane as well. He was there with her and got to meet him. There's the mini me of Guilty. That's the balloon, the full size balloon flown by Zarek Wells, who also was in the uh, top 20 of our competition. Yeah, the yellow one with the black with mustache. mustache. Yeah. So a lot of those globitos are indeed uh, mini replicas of their full size uh, balloon partners. One more all burn here before we start mixing it up a little bit. One more all burn before we mix it up. And all burn, here we go. Count with us, please. Five, four, three, two, one, all burn. Look at the crowd out there tonight. Yeah, another nice crowd. Hey, think, thanks for being here. I think Sam Park said at the uh, awards ceremony we had a record crowd turnout for the nine days already this year. We have or the, actually, we set records eight with and little days. balloons and big crowds. That's right, little balloons and big crowds. And boy, we had a huge crowd out here today for the, uh, in part for the eclipse. In fact, uh, my cousin and their friends who were in town, they got they were amongst the ones that were caught in traffic. You know, we delayed everything again this morning for 10 minutes like we did the opening Saturday. Yep. And they were so far into the traffic, they finally just gave up and bailed out and watched us on Balloon Fiesta Live. I heard a number and, of uh, people that did that. Yeah. Tonight they're up on the uh, Sandia Peak, so maybe they're looking down at our balloon glow this evening. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey, folks, this is be a great time to set your cameras on video. We're going to do a flicker burn, and we are going to suggest that you set your camera up for a video. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to set your camera to video. All right, everybody got their camera on video. This is a flicker burn, a flicker burn for the video camera. Here we go. Five, Five four, three, two, one. One flicker. That looks great. There's Blair Kaufman's Hearts of Fire right in the center. You can see just the little purple hearts. We've moved on to the yeah. a different one. Yep. Love having all these different camera angles because we're seeing a, about a dozen balloons right here in front of us, but you're being able to show you lots of them, including all of those little RC balloons, the little little yeah. pitos, because they're out on the north end of the field. Yeah, yeah. we have a very limited view from here on the rooftop once all the balloons are stood up. We can only see the first few rows that are in front of us. And, uh, but with our camera crew, we can show you views online and on the video wall down by the uh, Main Street stage. We can show you uh, the angles or the views from all around Balloon Fiesta Park. Go ahead and take a moment and check out that uh, video that you just took of our flicker burn. Yeah, and remember too that we can't, uh, if you're wondering why we just don't glow, 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 we can't do that because we're putting heat into the balloons every time that we do a burn and if we put too much heat in them, they're going to go airborne or we're going to over temper, over temp the balloon, exceed the maximum temperature. So we have to allow a little bit of time between each called all burn or flicker burn or whatever other crazy thing that Art comes up with tonight, because <laughs> uh, he always does. Uh, we have to give a few minutes in between each of those so that the pilots can allow the, the heat to dissipate, let the balloon cool down just a bit, even vent if they need to, if they're putting too much heat into the balloon. So that's why uh, there are a few moments uh, in between each of our called glows, just so you know. But we can uh, squeeze in another flicker burn, so keep that video camera setting. Video camera setting for a flicker burn. Here we go. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one, flicker. There we go. This is a good flicker. You guys have got this down yeah. just nice. And it's nice and dark now, so we're really seeing the colors of the balloons uh, really are vibrant. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a great video. Flicker burns are always fun on video. On video. Yeah. 
Wayno Shields is watching in our uh, Fiesta chat room. Uh, says, Glenn and Art, I've been with you all week and enjoyed watching, planning to be there next year. Wayne, we'd love to see you back, my friend. Uh, I actually have met his granddaughter online this weekend. We are both cat people, so we've been sharing uh, pictures of her cat, Merida, and uh, my Bonnie and Ranger. And uh, so, yeah, looking forward to having you out next week, uh, next year, rather, Wayne. And let's see. I saw Colin McClung's racer out there, the blue and uh, yellow one with the big word freedom across it. Oh, I see yeah. the tractor balloon of Jonathan Wolf out there, just kind of over the top of the little Fiesta RC balloon. Just kind of see it peeking around the corner. Hey, I'm going to suggest another video setting for you. We're going to suggest that everyone set their cameras to slow-mo mode. So go into video and set it for the slow-mo, because we're going to slip another flicker burn in. This flicker burn will be for the slow-mo video. Slow-mo, go ahead and get, I'm going to give you five seconds to find slow-mo. Go. We, when we talk about camera, we're also talking about your, the camera in your phone. Of which course, most people of course, are yeah. Yeah, but the slow mo. Isn't that the only camera around these days anymore? Uh, just is about. Your phone? <laughs> I mean, everybody's got one. So, uh, and most of them, if you've got a relatively newer model, will have a slow mo option in them. And this is really fun to do with slow mo. I've done it several times. So, a flicker burn for the slow mo video. Slow mo video flicker burn. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, flicker. See, the nice thing is you don't have to slow the burns down. You, you video it with your phone, which automatically moves it into slow-mo and will slow all the action down for you. And you'll just see that flame just kind of snarl up yeah, and really, back down. It really, is, really makes for a pretty thing. It is uh, a really video. great video. Yes, it does. Hey, I forgot earlier today, and I, I see, I, well, I, it, maybe the booth is open, but... Um, before I forget, quick shout out to my dear friend, uh, Lisa Kempner over at Lindstrand Balloons, because today is her birthday. Oh, happy so birthday happy to you. you. Happy birthday. So imagine celebrating your birthday at Balloon Fiesta. How cool would that be? And you know, it would probably be, since it's today, it's and probably on, almost every Balloon Fiesta you can just do Just about, that. yeah. And, yeah. And on an annual eclipse day. How cool oh, wow, is that? Oh, wow, that is cool. Yeah. That's almost like being born on, uh, on Leap Day. October 5th? Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. Our director, uh, Gary, has his birthday October the 5th. So now, of course, everyone in the chat rooms is going to be sending in their birthdays. My birthday's not in October. Neither is mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't hear us talking about birthdays. Our birthdays. No, no. All right, let's go back to an all burn. Let's do an all burn, please. All burn. Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. All All burn. burn. And the all burn emojis are really rocking out, uh, racking out, rocking out. Sorry, on my uh, on my iPhone here. I'm watching the feed there and looking at our Facebook chat group. And everybody's got those flame emojis going for our all burns and some of the twinkle burns, or flicker burns as they call yeah. them out here. I have the uh, YouTube chat room open on my computer here, and we were a little slow online on YouTube. Let's uh, step it up over here a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I mean the Facebook group. They've got the emoji, and they're working that. Yeah, they definitely are. What another perfect night. I'm looking up at the wind meter. It is not moving at all. No, no. Another zero gusting to zero night. Keith Berry has been keeping us on track all week long. He says it's sunset, twilight, civil nautical and astronomical twilights, then dusk. And let's see, nope, that's the end of the comment. Maybe he'll tell me the rest. I guess after then, that, I, it's night after that, yeah, it's yeah, nighttime. It's, it's, it's sleepy guess. time, bedtime. Yeah, bedtime. <laughs> oh, and let's do another all burn. How about an all burn, please? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, two one. All, all burn. burn. Somebody commenting that it's sad that it all comes to an end tomorrow, and yes, it is. 
But I can tell you, some of us are looking forward to a long uh, winter's nap. Winter's nap tomorrow afternoon. Or um, fall time now. It, it has been an, it's been an incredible week, and several people have said, you know, we wish we could do a do-over because this is what we wanted the 50th to be last right. year, and so right. we've got you know, if, if only we'd had this year's weather last year, but we've had such an incredible celebration uh, to kick off the next 50 years. It is. So it's a no great complaints. way to get started. Yep. But yeah, by the time Sunday rolls around, all of us out here are just getting a little bit weary especially on a year like this where we've only lost one event, and yet we were all on the field even for that event. Right. Hoping so, we were going to get it off. Yeah. All right. YouTube stepped up with the flames on that oh, one. Oh, yeah. I yeah, see that they now got over me there, there on your laptop. They're, they're burning up your, uh, your screen there. They are. Hey, let's try something with cell phones right now. Let's try something with cell phones. I knew this was coming. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. So the game plan here is we're going to do an all burn with the balloons, but we'd like all the cell phones, whether it's your screen or your flashlight, to light up as well. So figure out how to turn that flashlight on, but don't turn it on until we get to the all burn spot. So if you do have it on, kind of hide it so we can't see your cell phones. We want them to pop up when we get to the all burn at the point of the countdown. So get your cell phones ready to light up as we do an all burn. Everybody ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody, Everybody light, light it, up. it up. There you go. That looks great. Ian Warner is watching. It's 2 a.m. in the UK, and he's up watching tonight's <laughs> night magic glow. Well done, Ian. Good Two for in the you. morning Sunday, so it's the weekend. That's so true. It's, it's, it's good. the weekend. It's Somebody the weekend. else asking the question, do the RC balloons have burners? Well, yes, or they wouldn't be a hot air balloon. They, the RCs are exactly, as we've said, mini-me's of the larger manned balloon. They're made out of the same fabrics. They're Constructed in the same method, they have wicker well, baskets. There, look, you can see the one, yeah, yeah the little one see, burning and there, and off the to little, the side, you can see, see the, the burners. burners. They just have a very small burner uh, and a very small basket, but they are exactly like their big brothers, the man hot air balloons. There's a, a good close-up shot. Here we go into the basket. There you can see the burner firing, and a lot of times you'll see all kinds of interesting little characters riding in these. Uh, little baby size And baskets. there is something in that one. Yeah, it looks like maybe a little teddy bear or is that a puppy dog of some sort, I think. Not sure. And you see, we even give them banner dog. numbers. So that's yes. banner number 42. Of the Los Globitos. Globitos. Yes. Yeah. And the and pilot standing right there next to There he is with you know. the radio control unit firing yep. the burner. You can see the burner firing off. And the balloon is on a tether line, kind of like a kite, uh, so that it doesn't just fly away and escape. But they can... Um, Obviously, we fly it up and down, right. which we don't do with the big balloons. Yeah, on with nobody night. in the basket, it's a little hard to retrieve it yeah. without running <laughs> after it down the street. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Hey, that was really good with these cell phones. Let's try it again. And this time, I want you to point the cell phones to the outside of the field. So point it south, point it east, or point it north. North, east, or west. That's where our cameras are. North, east, or south. North, east, or south. That's right. North, east, or south. Point your cameras that direction when we get to the all burn so that we can see it on our video feed. Here we go. An all burn. Point your cameras south, north, or east in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Light, light it up. up. Of course, we, we lose some of the cell phone imagery when the balloons light up. That's okay. And I know you have a plan for that. I do. I know you do. I do. There's a reason why this gentleman is our executive producer. He's got all the creative ideas. I love how that little uh, glo glo Globitos lights up. Yeah. That one lights up really nicely. It does. Not that the others don't, but that one really does. A little red and gold one there, I think it is. Yeah. We're going to have to add those into our spotting chart next year. Yeah, and uh, we I have a separate one, but it's, uh, yeah. Well, there's we need to put them all in the same. We have the one, we use your app for the two of us. Right. And uh, because we had that comment this morning about, you know, could you put the reg numbers, the registration numbers of the balloons in the spotter app? And I think they're using the, uh, the Fiesta 
And I thought have. we had those in there. I'd have to go back and check, but I thought they were. Well, the, I was asked if I could ask you to see that that gets done, so uh, consider the suggestion made. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, well, hey, you know, it's not like you don't have enough to do already. I, uh, yeah. Happy to, happy to contribute I, I to work your workload. Yeah, I, I have some, some stuff there, yeah. Somebody says, win and, win and win. sorry, go ahead, I'll do this later. All right, I was going to say, you know, let's do, let's do a cell phone only. See, cell I, phone only. I we want to see you, those. I told you, I told you, I told you he had a plan for when we lose all the cell phone imagery because of the balloons glowing. So, uh, pilots, go ahead. If you, if you need to put a little heat in there, put a little heat in now. And then because you dark. are not going to burn on the next countdown. Right. We want so, you if to you stay need a little dark. heat, yeah, we want you to stay dark. All the cell phones are going to light up the field. So, this is a cell phone only burn. Cell phones only in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Cell phones. Yeah. Tall Steve's not paying attention. Yeah, some of them weren't getting the message out there, but most of them did. Yeah. And the cell phones, you guys did great. You guys did great. That's right. Coming next year to the 52nd Balloon Fiesta will be a night magic cell phone glow at some point. We'll add a new event. <laughs> Got to go talk to those uh, cell phone carriers and see if we can get them to do a sponsorship. Yeah, there you How go. How about an all burn, please? Pilots, an all burn. Here we go. Five, Five four, four, three. three Two, one, all burn. There's a nice wide shot from up here on the roof, and then now we're oh, down in the crowd. Right yeah. yeah. Yeah, we agree. Hands overhead applause. That looks great. That looks great. It does indeed. It's a it's another just Perfect night. Perfect night for this. It's so fun. There's tall Steve's silhouette. Almost beak to beak with Chick-fil-A, it looks yeah. like there. Actually, could, they're be, quite, uh, could be poking a hole there. Yeah, they're quite some distance apart, but optically illusion, uh, illusional or delusional for some of us. <laughs> yep. And a couple of them uh, have had enough. Yep. Don't forget, we still have coming up shortly the uh, pyrotechnics nighttime jump of team fast tracks and then we have our nighttime version of the dawn of the uh, drone show which is different from the early dawn one and then of course following that up will be our afterglow fireworks so lots of nighttime aerial activity still to come this evening here and at you Blue know Fiesta there Park. is just a little bit of interactivity in that drone show and i'd really like to hear everyone on the field here interact with that drone show at the appropriate time you're talking about very early on in the show i'm thinking fairly early fairly early yeah, yeah. there's a question I, that gets asked i know what you're, what you're yeah going so for we'd there. like to hear yeah. folks uh, answer that we'll let you uh Ponder that a little yeah. bit and then while we do a flicker burn. How about a flicker, please? Flicker in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, flicker. flicker. Got some folks down here at Sponsor Hospitality that are flicking ring along with yeah. their cell phone. <laughs> Well, and, and I, well, it's, it's a non-smoking event. I was going to say if you had a big lighter in your pocket, but you shouldn't have. And if you do, we don't want you to pull it out. So never mind. That was not a good idea. That was another case where the, the filter between my brain and my mouth didn't operate quite correctly. Hey, uh, we got a comment on our uh, YouTube feed here. This is a huge shout out from Los Lunas. That's a little town just south of us. Yes. We were there for the morning session. It was perfect. Thank you to all behind the scenes. Thank you for YouTube for all your hard work every year and more to come. Outstanding. We do have a good time doing this. We do, and I've always said, this is, this is my 34th year, I've always said when it quits being fun and starts being work, that's when I'll step aside and let somebody else have this chair. Because it is simply too much fun. And I, frankly, yeah, at 34 years, that's almost half my lifetime. I wouldn't know where to be. <laughs> I wouldn't feel right if the first two weeks of, my, you know, of October I wasn't in Albuquerque. 
So hopefully I've got another 34 in me. We'll see. I see crispy bacon looking over the top of all yeah. those. Yeah, uh, no, that's no, that's that's. Uh, or is that the elephant? No, that's the an the angel or the little prince. See the gold. Oh top? yeah, now that they've lit up, it is the little prince. Yeah, little prince. The little prince. I, I don't know why I want to keep calling it angel, but it's the little prince. Well, there used to be an angel balloon that looked a lot like that's that. That's why. Yeah, I'm, because I'm remember doing, we had okay. the angel and devil balloons. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, yes, and they looked yes. a lot like that. Yeah, but that's the little prince because it's gold. All burn, please, and all burn. Here we go. Five. Five. Four, three, two, one, all burn. <laughs> There's the Rax building supply balloon going quite nicely, flickering there for everybody. Frankie Martinez brings that to us. Yeah. Right behind it, the Ron Sanchez balloon, Bubba's 33. Great little uh, American food restaurant. Yeah. That caters big time to balloonists. I drove uh, right past it on my way into town. I'll drive right by it on the way out of town, unfortunately. And you should stop. Well, you know, I, I either need to come to town earlier next week or I need a, a, an extra night off or something. And there's just never enough time to do all the things that you want to do. And that was a line right out of Jim Croce's song, Time in a Bottle. There's never enough time never enough. Never to enough. do what you want to do, do all the things you want to do. There's the Xfinity Rewards balloon. Talk I love how that just kind of glows in the night, even yeah. without the burner yeah, on. Yeah, it, well, it's got, uh, and, th and there's not even any spotlights on it. It's just no, a brilliant no. white fabric. Just and picks up the ambient light. The high uh, light sensitivity of our great uh, television cameras. So let's warn everybody that we're going to do another flicker burn. So again, if you missed it before, this is always a good video and even a better slow-mo. So we're going to do a flicker burn. Go ahead and set your cameras to the video setting or the slow-mo setting. Here we go. Flicker for the video in five, four, three, two, one, flicker. Whether you're in the park looking at it live or looking at it on screen online at Balloon Fiesta Live, that is an impressive show tonight. Definitely is. You guys are looking marvelous out there. Just, yeah, marvelous. just marvelous. Marvelous. Yep. And, there's and, a little, they're, and they're doing nice long flickers they for are. us. Yeah. And you know, we talked earlier this week about how when we used to be on the dirt field, how you would have oh, that, yeah. it looked like pig pin doing a glow because there'd be this cloud of dirt or that just kind of surrounded everybody. Well, the field, as you talked about, has gotten so dry this week. We're starting to see some We're of seeing that. some dust. I wouldn't say it's dirt necessarily, but there's a haze, low level haze that's kicked up by all the people out on the field walking around. And we start to see some of that now uh, from the throat of the balloon down to the tops of the baskets just on the ground. Some I drove the shots you can see that in. I drove across the field on the golf cart today, yes. uh, driving some, and there are a number of bare spots out there that yeah. we've worn the grass out. Well, there's been a lot of traffic on that field this week. Both uh, there has both pedestrian and balloon. There has. Uh, you know, there was a few years ago we took a nice aerial shot of the field, a few days before Balloon Fiesta, and this really nice green grass. Yes. And then came and took a picture like the day after Balloon Fiesta. <laughs> it's tremendous how much beating this park takes yes. with all the trucks, all the pedestrians, all the crew, all the folks. All the on golf it. carts, all that. And we don't get know. a chance to water it much, you know, because no. we, don't, we don't want it wet. Exactly. So, yeah, it doesn't get, get yeah. a chance. It takes a, a few months for it to recover because we're going into more of the dormant season anyway. So, right. Yeah. How about an all burn? Let's light up the sky. And if you'd like to join us with your cell phones, that would be great. Cell phones and balloons, all burn, please. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody burn. Everybody light it up. a different set of balloons out here than we had last weekend. 
That's because pilots, as they put in their application to attend Balloon Fiesta, are given a choice of which balloon glow, if any, they would like to participate in. So we had one set on the first Saturday night, which we call Twilight Twinkle. Right. On Sunday night, it's just the, the balloon, balloon glow, glow because balloon glow originally started on the first Sunday night. And then, of course, we had our special shapes on Thursday and Friday. And tonight, it is Night, night magic. magic. So it's not the same group of balloons that do each glow. It's a different group of balloons selected from our overall field of pilots who participate. Some participate in all, all or of both. Them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, especially the corporate balloons like Dos Equis here beside us. They want to be out on the field, uh, Xfinity, for all of the glows. Yeah, he was. But, yeah, he was off for the special shape ones, of course. He's right. Since he's a regular. Right. Since he's a regular shape, but he was here for the others, and uh, but then the great majority of the sport balloon pilots, most of them probably participate in one of the glows. Yeah. yeah. Rather pick than one. doing, yeah, pick one that you want to do, which week night, which Maybe night rather two. that you want to do. Uh, some will do more than one, but so it's a different group of pilots each time we do a balloon glow, except of course with the special shapes because we do them two nights in a row, Thursday and Friday night. There's the mini-me of Tiny the Fired Dog, Henry Rosenbaum, our balloon meister. Oh, look at over on the far left-hand side, there's the mini-me of the kitty. Can you see it? It's right next to the white one. The white one is actually Cork the Puppy Dog, and then there is the orange one. It's lighting up right there. Yes. That's a, that's a mini-me of a kitty cat. I haven't seen that. Yeah. All right. I'll have to... Hopefully we'll get a better shot of that, or I'll look through the pictures when we're done yeah. this week and watch for that. Being a cat person, I'm always intrigued by kitty cat balloons. How so, about an all yeah. burn, please? All burn, please. Here we go. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. All, all burn. burn. I like how on the uh, New Mexico True Balloon, the True Lee Balloon, because it's black, yes. that part doesn't glow too well. That's right. But, but that, that sugar, sugar skull, skull, because it's inlay, you see it right there. Yep. Because that's inlay, meaning you, that white fabric is what's there, the light just comes yeah, right so through the skull that skull. Yeah, really glows. Yep. Somebody always asks this question, how many balloons are there this year? For several years now, many years, uh, we have basically capped the number of balloons at 550. Now, it varies a little bit each year, uh, but uh, so giving you an exact number is almost impossible. Uh, I mean, there we know the exact number. I don't know it, but generally, th the number that we give people is 550, and that includes the round balloons, the special shapes, and the gas balloons. Uh, and as I say, it varies a little bit each year, but that's the number. We Way back in uh, 2000, uh, going into the, the millennium at 2000, we had this battle cry of 1,000 for 2,000. And that year we actually had, if I remember the number right, 1,019 balloons. And it just. That was insane. It was insane. It proved to be really a logistical nightmare. Uh, and as the city of Albuquerque has grown up over the years, the landing sites uh, with development, as you can imagine, have begun to disappear. So having, um, you know, a, a really large number, I mean, not that 550 is a small number. But you know, trying to do something with a thousand balloons or fifteen hundred or whatever, um, we just have found that right now five fifty is about the right number of balloons for us to have, and um, that's based in large part on the availability of landing sites in the area. Not that we couldn't put more balloons in the park, perhaps, but um, although we stretched the boundaries of the park last year with six hundred and fifty balloons, that's true. We did and some of the logistics. It just kind of gets a little too crowded because it. I noticed that in one of the graphics that we did, it said 650 balloons times X number of flights equal X number of, and I thought, well, that 650 is not right because it's 550. That was last year's. But that was last year's, last year's number. Last number, yes. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sue Anderson says, this is the best capitalized, best year for Balloon Fiesta Live, watching on my TV in the frozen tundra of Wisconsin. All right. Nice and warm here, Sue. Next year, make sure that you're here and you won't have to uh, watch us on live. We appreciate that you do. But it's even better in person because you'll be able to feel and experience an all burn like this one. An all burn in five, five four, three, two, two, one, all burn.
There's the Freedom Balloon, or the Freedom yep. Racer of Colin McClain. Okay, uh, Dab. Colin McClung, sorry. Okay, Dab says we were there for the 1,000 plus, and it was crazy. It yes, was. It was. It was. Uh, Marie uh, Russell was also here for the 1,000 and 2,000, and it was quite crowded. That's putting it mildly. I can hear the uh, Team Fast Tracks uh, plane high overhead, so we're nearing the hour of their evening pyrotechnics jump and they are circling up to altitude for their show tonight. Just about 10 minutes away. Yep. And of course we have the uh, live helmet cam again tonight. Yeah, so we should be able to to uh, see uh, some great video from upstairs. Yep. And uh, so we will have our uh, night magic glow still going on. So yes. we'll be able to see the glow from the sky. You're welcome. Talked to those folks earlier today. Yeah, they well, young lady that is on staff here came up to me after the award ceremony and said, I've heard your voice all these years, but I've never met you. And yes. she introduced herself, which I thought was so sweet. And she asked if I had an announcer pen, and I had just given the last one I had oh, with no. me away. And so I said, please, please, if you'll come to the rooftop tonight, I will make sure you get a pen. But I just didn't have any more with me at the award ceremony. I had just literally given the last one away. So... Yeah. Um, Morgan yeah. says they had the most amazing trip to Albuquerque to see this. That's it. Limited Zeds wants to know where the mini balloons are. They're out on the north end of the field. So if you're here on the field, you need to move out to the north side. Greetings, greetings from Minnesota. They miss New Mexico and love this. Also, greetings from Houston as well. Thanks, all of you, for watching. Yeah. And remember that you can watch all seven years now of Balloon Fiesta Live That's by right. going to BalloonFiesta.com and clicking on the Balloon Fiesta Live page. Patty Cochrane Kreitz is watching from Nebraska. Almost as good as being there, which we were last year. Almost as good, but it's always better to be here in person. It absolutely is, because when you're here, you're going to get the roar of an all burn. The roar, the heat, the light of an all burn in five, four, three, two, one, all burn. You know, we're reaching that time, too, where we discussed the other night that there are some of the balloons out there beginning to deflate and take down. So, first of all, if that's happening around you, be very careful. Be aware of fabric falling out of the sky. Don't get caught underneath it. And the reason we do that, we, we don't want to wait and deflate every balloon all at the same time. Because when they vent all that heat out uh, collectively, it literally can create a, a small thermal. And uh, so we, we could create, create our own weather for Jim. For Jim Cantori, we could create our own weather system. I wonder if he knows that. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, we do kind of encourage the pilots to take down a few at a time uh, as we near the end of the show. Uh, and it's not that somebody's trying to, you know, kind of cheat and get out early or anything like that. We're actually doing this for a purpose um, so that we don't literally vent all of that hot air out onto the field in the crowd at the same time. I remember being on the crown line of the very first balloon glow before we knew that effect before we that knew you to just do talked that. about. Yes. Yep. And everybody took down at the same time. We did create that weather and it was just like this huge wind that just all, about, all yep. of a sudden showed up on the field. It yeah. was just something. It just creates its own little thermal and uh, a lot of activity. And the fabric, of course, at that point is getting blown all around by that little bit of turbulence. And so for that reason now, we do, in fact, encourage pilots to take down a few at a time as we work our way toward the end of the show. So the last few uh, all burns and flicker burns, there will be fewer and fewer balloons participating, but that's uh, for a purpose. And hopefully we'll have a number of balloons still up as we get fast strikes jumping in over the top of well, it and that maybe. great view from the top because we'll do things like flicker burns, flicker burns. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, flicker burn. That looks great. You know, Larry Compton, one of the uh, Team Fast Tracks guys, yes. the one that usually drums the big American flag, right. was talking to him the last couple of nights about what is it like to jump in when all the balloons are glowing at night. He says it's like coming into a big pinball machine <laughs> with all the lights <laughs> flickering on and off yeah. and bouncing around. All, we, we, need we, is, all we need is some sound effects. You know, some ching, 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 ching. You know? yeah. yeah, absolutely. We've got some of those in the drone show. We do. We do have some of those That's sound right. effects. Yep. Yes, indeed.
So about five minutes till teams fa team fast tracks drops in. Continue to hear the plane circle above us yes. as it works its way to altitude. In and fact, he's right over the rooftop studio now. If you peer r way oh. back. Headed north to south. Headed north, yeah. To south. Actually, uh, nope. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, he is yeah. going south. You're yep. right. Yep. Thought you'd confused me on the directions <laughs> there for a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why, after all these years out here, I can never get north and south straight in my head. I kind of see that at night because it's hard to see the Sandias, the mountains to yeah, the east. But even during the day when the mountains are there and you very obviously I still get messed up. So that's why one of the graphics that we throw up before and after the show here sometimes yeah. is you know direction challenge. The mountains are to the east. That's true. They are they are. And it, it can be different. I'm, I also announced the uh, Labor Day liftoff up in Colorado Springs. Yeah. And their mountains are to the west. OK. So uh, yeah. Sometimes it's kind of like, oh, 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 where I'm in the different place. Well, and, and you, like you say, it should be easy to remember because the mountains are always on my right to the east, and the sun always sets over here to my left, which is the west. And we see both sunrise and sunset right. every single every day. Every day we do. And the drainage wind comes out of the north, so you would think I would have it figured out by now. But for some reason, I always get turned around out here. Let's do a flicker burn, please. A flicker burn. Let's do a flicker in five, four, four three, three, two, two one flicker. Somebody's ringing a bell over there. I almost thought, oh, there's some of our pinball effects, <laughs> sound effects. Sandra Hernandez says, we were there last year when the big storm came in. It was so scary, but we enjoyed the rest of the time. That was really amazing. Um, and Art uh, was part of a safety seminar that was put on for the pilots earlier this week when they took a, uh, a look at that, a very detailed look at that storm. And it literally just popped up right behind us and then moved over the top of Balloon Fiesta Field and just dumped. The storm didn't last 15 minutes, but it literally dumped its entire moisture content right on top of Balloon Fiesta Park. And unfortunately, we had a few special shaped balloons standing up that we night. We did, yep. And, and crews spent hours, most of overnight, most trying of overnight, to drive. Most of overnight, yeah. Sam Parks and the team got on the uh, on the phones and opened up some uh, auditoriums and large indoor facilities. The convention center, the convention any big center. building that we could stand up right, or at least, could cold at least cold, cold inflate, inflate the balloons in to, yeah. to get the water dried out of them, yes. And the way, you, the way you do that is literally just turn the fan on and just keep it the air blowing through it. Right. To, yep. Yep. Can't really put any kind of heat in there. No, if you can't take the balloon outside and inflate it to dry it out with heat, then all yeah. you can do is blow air through it and hope that the fabric will slowly dry without too much damage. Let's do an all burn. All burn, please. We'll let the team fast tracks get a good look at us as they fly overhead before they drop in. An all burn, please, in five, five four, four Three, two, one, all burn. Should be a great view from the plane because it's just coming uh, across the top of us here on the rooftop studio, moving east to west. I got that right. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and they're looking out the plane down here at the balloon field because that is their LZ, of course, as they're lining up to stage their show. Get myself situated here so I can continue to uh, talk to Team Fast Tracks. Yeah, you've got just a few radios and other things to talk on over there. Well, and then during the jump of Team Fast Tracks, I'll be on the phone to the drone show folks. Getting them set up. Yep. And I just kind of sit here and watch it all happen. <laughs> He's over there doing all that producer stuff, and I'm just the hired help in the hot air. You know, I was, when I was actually on the television, I did the earlier shows, and they put less resources on those shows, yes. at least in those days. Yeah. So I uh, got very used to producing the show from the set where I'm also anchoring it. So ah, you, you okay. waited for those sound bites and commercials to say, we're going to make this change or we're going to do this or whatever, when normally on a show there's somebody sitting in the booth 
calling those shots, and the yes. anchor just kind of goes along. So Yeah, by the time I got into being a producer in television, I was always working up in the control room, I was sitting beside the director who's calling the camera shots right. as I'm uh, running down the, the track times and the back times on all the various news packages and that sort of thing, telling the announcers, the anchors, how much time they have. So I was a little uh, more, I wasn't as active as you were. I didn't have to anchor and produce at the same time. So Donna uh, Chaudreau, I hope, is watching from Colorado. Let's see. Everybody else is emojiing me. Perfect weather this year. Absolutely right, Donna, we do. Nancy Hartzell is watching. Well, they're on their, I don't know if they've left town or maybe they're at the hotel watching tonight, uh, Nancy and Joe. And I'm hoping that they're you know, in the hotel relaxing this evening and they'll get on the road home to Texas tomorrow. So we are trying to establish the uh, video link to the Team Fast Tracks aircraft. They are high overhead, just over the, um, just over the rooftop studio. And now we do have the video link up, so we're getting moments closer to their nighttime pyrotechnics jump, which is always exciting. Aerial fireworks underneath parachutes. In fact, jumpers are away, ladies and gentlemen. Jumpers are away. All burn pilots. Four, three, two, one. All burn. They're on the video feed. We're watching them exit the aircraft. And there, there goes the last jumper out in their uh, little LED suits. Yeah, the helmet gum has to get out yet. There they go. And in a moment, we, wow, they are really spread out tonight. Six good canopies, we get the word from the aircraft, which means everybody's on their main chute, and that's what we like to see. And the LED suit lights are coming on so that you can spot them in the sky. Yeah. Doesn't seem as bright as they normally are. Is it just me tonight? I wonder if they're higher tonight. I, yeah, that might be. So we've got Larry uh, Compton, Matt Harvey, Kevin, and uh, Karen all up there doing the uh, double stack as well as some pyro. Karen's also got the helmet cam for us. Brian and Yulia are going, Pangborn are going to do a double stack into a giant sparkler down plane. That's where those guys are going to just come screaming down yeah, to the ground. straight down at the ground. With That's fireworks the, hanging between them. That is scary to see, but it's also exciting. I'm not sure they've, all right, there come the pyrotechnics. There's, There's the pyrotechnics. The fireworks. So I'm not sure the LED seats are on yet. If they are, they're difficult to see tonight. But you can clearly see now, it looks like there's four little comets up there in the air. Now five as the duo, there goes, there's, right, the, there's the tandem. Yeah. There's the tandem. Just fired off his fireworks. Off to the east. And they will come in a horizontal dive, just screaming. And there it is. There's the American flag between them tonight, too. Look at that. With the pyrotechnics on the dive down. Yeah. They literally come streaming down. They're almost perfectly horizontal, parallel to the ground in the position that they're in now where they're connected as a tandem. They will break apart at just the last moment to come in for I mean, Look at this, right straight down over the top of the crowd coming down toward the main stage at incredible speed. And there is the breakaway. Wow. Listen to the crowd. They loved that. I think that deserves an all burn, pilots, an all burn. Quick one, three, two, one, all, all burn. burn. There's the flag coming in from the tandem jump. Now we have four little comets flying in formation. And there's the landing of part of the tandem. Yep, and there you can see there, there's both of them now. You can see their LED suits. Blue and green. All right, the 
sparklers are off now. They're just now firing off round two. Yeah, we just saw her reach over and press the next firing button oh, on her okay. wrist. Oh, okay. I was looking up, so you I were didn't see up. that on the screen. Yeah. Yep. Reach over to the wrist and press the next button to set the next set of fireworks off. Let's uh, squeeze in another all burn. I'm kind of watching for the helmet cam to look down. An all burn. And there we go. Three, two, one, all burn. Just got to look to it. There it is. Yep, you can just see a <laughs> just little bit yeah. of it. And there go the pyrotechnics, the fireworks. These are coming out of uh, bags that these uh, folks have strapped to their lower legs. We are told I think they weigh about 30 pounds each. Yeah, each leg. Each leg. So they're carrying 60 pounds of fireworks weight with them as they're jumping. Here goes another set. Oh, yeah, there I see the, the see little controller. Time? I saw it that see time. That, yeah. The whole controller Looks on the wrist. Almost like a remote control. You just pick which channel you want to see. Which set of fireworks to yeah. set off. I always get hungry for popcorn about now. <laughs> <laughs> what a great show. Team Fast Tracks. They are awesome. Brought I mean. to us by AIC Inc. Great new sponsor for us. All right, they'll be ready to set some more off here. Let's do an all burn. They're looking at us. Three, two, one, all, all burn. burn. Whoops, just as we, there, <laughs> there you go. go. There they are. There's, you can see the balloons burning down below, twinkling down below. And that is their view as they come flying in here tonight to Balloon Fiesta Park. You can see the kind of horseshoe shape uh, park looking to the south where we're located there. There's the one that always reminds me of a little Santa Claus. He's got the red suit. Yep. So he looks like a little lighted Santa Claus coming into land. Karen Dalton doing the uh, helmet cam or the live feed for us tonight. And as they get closer, let's give them a nice long all burn, please. All burn. Three, two, one, all burn. Thomas Birdwell flying the Patriot plane that all of our team fast strike jumpers jump from tonight and every night. And there's a nice landing. Oh, nice. Oh, almost, oh, almost a stand, stand up, up. landing. <laughs> there you can see. Look at the the bag, the size of those bags on the Yeah, look legs. at those packs. That's look at those the, packs. That's uh, what the pyrotechnics, all the fireworks come out from. Those things are huge. Hey, everybody light up the field. Everybody light up the field. Three, two, one, light it up. Cell phones too, cell phones too, light it up. And the helmet cam is on the ground. Yes, Great indeed. job, Team Fast Tracks. Great pictures from Karen Dalton. There he is. You can see the helmet on the side of her, yep. or the camera again, on the side of the helmet. You can see those big uh, packs they have on their lower legs that uh, fire off all those fireworks. What a great show they do. Team Fast Tracks, ladies and gentlemen. All righty, great show by Team Fast Tracks. As always, great jumps. Again, sponsored by AIC Accident Insurance Company, and we appreciate them sponsoring and bringing Fast Tracks and the live helmet cam feed as well to us. Yes, so, indeed. Yep, from it's the announced pilots, great job tonight. Thanks for playing along with all of our games and everything here on Night Magic. Again, as you just heard, now is the time to deflate your balloons as we're about to start our drone show. Thanks again, pilots. Let's give our pilots a great big hand and uh, flash your lights at them. That would also help. They'll be yeah. able to see that. Pilots and crew who had to work this evening, all doing a nice job. So now we are just uh, another few minutes away. Let's see, about seven minutes away from our evening drone show. Okay. So a couple minutes to uh, let everybody catch their breath. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, the uh, Team Fast Tracks guys and gals, happy to chat with you once yep. they get their... They'll, uh, be, uh, they'll walk along the crowd line there and... Uh, 
and be then happy to shake your hand, say yep. hello. Take a selfie with you or not. They just need to get some shoots at least field packed and make sure that the explosive packs on their legs have been taken care of. There's part of the field pack of those shoots. Yep. You might even ask them a question or two if you have the chance about skydiving. They'd Meanwhile, love to talk to you. They are all great folks here. They indeed, indeed they are. They're always fun to have with us. Team Fast Tracks, there's a wave uh, from our helmet cam. There you can see the camera that was mounted on top of the helmet. And a great shot of those LED suits. Yeah. I still want one of those. I, I know. I think we should have those here on the rooftop studio. I think so too. Yeah. Hey, Claire wants to know how long have you two been announcing at the Balloon Fiesta? You two are amazing announcers. Well, thank you. Um, as a team, we've been together eight years, seven years here on Balloon Fiesta Live. And uh, as far as myself, I've been uh, one of, people sometimes call me the voice of Balloon Fiesta. That is not fair. Tom Rutherford was the original voice, and I was lucky to be his partner for 25 years. So in total, I've been... Uh, on the Super Secret Announce Tower or the Rooftop Studio for 34 years. And I've been uh, here, obviously, with you, as you said, for eight years now. Before that, I did lots of other things here. You did. You were a volunteer doing all... I mean, it's not like you already don't wear a dozen different hats. Um, I don't think you know how to say no. That must be That's your problem. That's the problem. I don't know how to say I'm no. Sure, I'm sure Bobby would agree with that. His wife would <laughs> say does. he simply doesn't Hi, know. Hey, there's a thumbs up from Team Fast Tracks right into the camera. You guys did another great show tonight. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so at 34 years, I turned 70 this earlier this summer. And uh, so literally uh, almost half of my lifetime, I have been a part of Balloon Fiesta. That's pretty amazing when I think about it in those terms. And, uh, and what an honor it has been. As I said, 25 years working as Tom Rutherford's partner. And now... Um, uh, Something's happening out here on the field. Yeah, there's... Down there with Team Fast Tracks. I think I know what's about to go on here. Yep. I'm going to take a guess. Well, look, it's just a big old picture. Yeah, it's a big photo op. Yeah. Everybody take a selfie. But I think there's more to it than a selfie. Yep. Yep. We're just kind of watching here on the feed if you're on the yeah, video wall. Okay. Look at there. Down, uh -oh. on, down on a knee. Yeah. Somewhere out there, he reached into his pocket and probably pulled out a ring. Oh my God, she says. I can read yep, lips. you can read lips. Just and her about, head shake is a crunch. yes. She says yes. <laughs> there is a Yay. yes. Yet another proposal, successful proposal here at Balloon Fiesta Park and the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. That's right. And now comes the, did you plan this? You know all That's about That's right. <laughs> did you guys know this was going to happen? Um, what a great shot. Congratulations, you two. What a, what, a, what a moment. Oh, my gosh. And there's the oh, kiss. Oh, there's the kiss. All right. Seal it with a kiss. So Saturday night, we've got a proposal, a successful one. We started the week with, with one at one the Exxon Mobil balloon, balloon as well balloon. at That's inflation. Right. So we yeah. kind of start the morning and the week, and we're kind of ending the week here at the evening as well. Yeah. Even though we do have one more event to go. So how awesome was that? That was fun. Thank you for letting us join in on that. And uh, that'll be a memory they'll always share as a couple. And what a memorable time to and, have the team Fast Tracks all around you lighting up and your proposal. However many years from now, they can go back onto BalloonFiesta.com and watch the proposal on Balloon Fiesta Live, Live on our archive That's right. show. That's right. How about that? So we still have our Exxon Mobil balloon standing up. That's Tristan McLean. Tristan of McClain. course, today, Exxon yep. Mobil Day here at Balloon Fiesta. We are powered by, Balloon Fiesta is powered by ExxonMobil, as are we at Balloon Fiesta Live, and uh, thrilled to be connected with them. Their balloon called Enchanted, uh-oh, Enchanted Sunrise? No, Enchanted Horizons. Whew. Almost missed that one there. Um, and, and the coloring of the balloon, the color pattern is indeed kind of a tribute to the beautiful sunrises and sunsets that we see here in the land of enchantment when we do go from uh, dusk, or you know, which, whichever way we figured it out, from twilight to dusk to nighttime to whatever, I forget now, sunset. Anyway, you need to get Keith's email or uh, yeah, text to, back out there. I, I put my phone away, so um, <laughs> uh, he told us. But yeah, from sunset to twilight to dusk to nighttime, that's the sunset all, version. All the colors of the sky. Absolutely. And you do see those beautiful colors in uh, the high desert here in both our sunrises and sunsets. Part of the reason why the state of New Mexico is known as 
the land of enchantment. Enchantment. So, yeah. So the balloon called Enchanted Horizons. And uh, it's been fun to have a, uh, we've had several of the ExxonMobil folks up here on the tower with us, on, on the rooftop studio uh, with us to chat about their involvement, why they're here, what ExxonMobil is doing in the state of New Mexico, going to be a huge economic uh, contributor to the state. And uh, that's always good to know. So it's been really fun interacting with them all week. So we're about 30 seconds away from the drone show. All right. So, of course, Time while well, our feed continues throughout the drone show and our afterglow fireworks. Our commentary comes to an end. Right. And we just let you enjoy the show for the rest of the evening. That's right. So uh, say good night, Glenn. Good night, Glenn. Good night, Art. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the drones. Enjoy the fireworks. And we will see you again in the morning. In the morning. Don't forget the band on the stage after the show. the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. I said 51st Balloon Fiesta. Everyone is here, including Marvin the Martian.
Mexico has an official state question. It's red or green. But many New Mexicans have a different answer. What is it? That's right, Christmas. Then there's Dia de los Muertos. Thanks to our sponsor, Sandia Resort and Casino.
been watching Balloon Fiesta Live, powered by ExxonMobil. This is the 51st edition of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, the world's premier ballooning event, and the 66th Gordon Bennett Coop Aeronautique. Want more balloon action? Visit the archive of Balloon Fiesta Live broadcasts at BalloonFiesta.com. Thanks for watching Balloon Fiesta Live. This program is a production of AIBF Inc.